All right. To make my ring mail, you need two things. Washers and chain. Regular as store-bought chain. Then you cut it with a wire cutter. Uh, preferably uh, where the world links them. Then you uh, open it up. And then you put two washers in. Uh, keep in mind to uh, keep the washers smooth part and the uh, chain links uh, connecting bits behind the armor so uh, more uh, shiny and visually appealing parts are in front of the um, armor then you use uh, then you close it up and there you go this is first two you need to make five links in between uh, chains uh, this is uh, Japanese style five in one I think it's called so let's say you make other um, uh, chains uh, link up and then slowly link those two uh, combined uh, washers together first making a regular chain then combining uh, triangle together uh, this is a middle combine, uh, combination, it's very important to keep in mind, I used to forget it a lot of times, and then the fourth one, and you get something like this, this shape uh, is uh, to keep all the links together, four in one, you can see in my very old videos, it's not as visually appealing, uh, and this one is far superior, uh, I think. Then. You combine all those links together and make larger and larger pieces and slowly make larger and larger and larger uh, surface area and then create something like this. After that you try to shape it around your body which is actually quite difficult and uh, you need to keep in mind your uh, own body shape and especially where, when you, where you close it. That's, uh, I struggled uh, a lot with it. I think I spent more time um, figuring out how to uh, shape it around my body uh, than actually making those links. Because uh, closing those links up is uh, quite easy, but opening them up is far more difficult. And you need uh, special pliers for that. But the idea of this armor is that anyone, beginner, with no tools, may okay, you'll need at least one quality plier. I prefer that you get also a wire cutter and different shaped pliers for uh, combining and opening up. You need a thinner uh, plier to open the links up. You need, uh, as you can see, much wider pliers to close it down. Other than that, you don't need any special tools and uh, regular households typically have those tools together. I had to buy them, but most households uh, keep exactly the tools I use, uh, usually. Uh, th that's the benefit of this idea I came up with, uh, that every part is simple, easy to make and really affordable. Washers are quite cheap and uh, chain is also quite cheap and you don't need a lot of tools to make it. Uh, compared to regular chain mail that I make, um, it might be a bit uh, more expensive. Uh, I, uh, let's say, uh, the armor is 13 kilograms, give or take. Let's say the um, chest area is 8 kilograms, actually the shoulders add another uh, five uh, same amount of chain uh, mail that I made um, and cost me about five lari uh, that's my country's currency and uh, to buy washers uh, a kilogram of washers cost me 10 lari so double the amount uh, also uh, chain actually became quite expensive uh, because uh, the store that I bought this exact size because um, when I started to use this specific uh, shape and size of the chain it's not as visually appealing to switch it up 
and the uh, store that I used to buy this from only sold it in meters. So, as you can imagine, there's uh, at least at least a hundred meters uh, of. Okay, maybe not hundred, but a lot of meters, um, close to a hundred, uh, in this construction. So it uh, it became quite expensive. It was like meter cost like two, three lari, mostly two lari, uh, yeah, but in the end it actually became like uh, two hundred uh, lari in expense. But again comparing with uh, regular as mail uh, it took me far far uh, less time to make it and it's a far less complicated technique uh, when you look at it it might seem a bit um, complicated and daunting but uh, making regular one in four uh, mail like European style mail is actually quite labor intensive and compared to that, it's uh, the construction that I'm making is quite simple. Uh, it takes a bit to get used to, but when you run the roll, uh, it's quite simple. Um, most time come most time consuming part is one that I already said shaping the uh, or pre made the uh, uh, ring mail surface to my body, so I had a, a good place to. Um, so it uh, shaped around my body and uh, the locking mechanism worked properly uh, and opening those chains up you might think uh, maybe you already make uh, mail and you got interested in this you might say like I have already uh, pre-made mail uh, why would I go and uh, spend so much money and so much time opening those chains up uh, I actually tried to make my first batch with uh, male rings, uh, but uh, the problem I got was first uh, I used larger rings here, larger washer rings here, uh, and um, rings uh, had to be much larger, or I had to flatten them. And when I flattened them, they were uh, I couldn't keep the uh, same consistency of shape. I couldn't keep um, the the gaps were forming at it looked oblong like some uh, rings were some chain was longer and shorter and stuff like that and it did created uh, a bit uh, distracting visual so using a pre uh, factory made ring i mean factory made chain is actually quite beneficial for this project uh, because it gives um, balanced surface and uh, you could experiment uh, this type of uh, washer armor you could experiment with deep, uh, different shapes and sizes of chain and especially washers come in uh, very uh, large variety over the years and uh, try to keep the washers thin because the store I bought washers had really regular sizes some were very thick some are very thin uh, uh, I would recommend using thinner washers to keep down the weight Here's the armor in action. Uh, here you can see how the links move and gives you flexibility. Um, again, I would recommend revisiting the first video. Here's the uh, how it's combined. I really struggled with that part. And next, let's go to my first creation, the sewn washer uh, ring armor. All right, here is the sewn ring armor. This is the first idea that came to me. It's quite simple to make, uh, very beginner friendly, as in I was a beginner when I when I made it. It's just rings sewn to a cloth or a pleather, in this case pleather and cloth. It's quite simple but very labor intensive, that's its drawback, but compared to chainmail it's still worth it, I think. Chainmail is great but hard to make. Here I used uh, a thick cord a also pretty thick and strong needle and a lot of lots of lots of patience it's i'm not uh, i'm not underselling how much patience and hard work it takes to make this thing the uh, hexagonal shape uh, shape actually fits the hand quite well 
it's about half maybe 0.6 kilograms so depending on your hand size i'm a, a bit of a bigger man took uh, uh, more washers to cover my hand maybe you're a bit smaller maybe you're a bit bigger so get about a kilogram of smaller washer rings get a surface maybe thick uh, cloth or leather or leather if you're cheap like me and start sewing my friend now in this pre-recorded demonstration i already sewn a couple of rings onto this pleather you see a bit of a wet shine on the pleather it's because i try to glue it beforehand to simplify uh, my process but it did not take it's just a lot of hard work so i just uh, sewn first patch as uh, just to hold it on and then you can see in the corner i start to sew it on much harder it's uh, quite a uh, simple but a very long process it's about you know, one will take you about a day to make i'll compare to making chain mail it's a bit shorter not but not quite i could make that amount of surface in few hours maybe in three and uh, this thing took me uh, about four or more so that's the reason it's, it's a really long recording i try to edit it down but my camera multiple times gave, gave out because i was recording so long it's about uh, you slowly sew it on or um, theoretically you could start up with with a small amount of cloth and you know sew it on that then uh, sew different parts of the cloth together but it won't be uh, it won't be as sturdy so i would uh, recommend make a this kind of hexagon and start sewing onto it as you can see i'm using a lot of cord so uh i, I have a lot of uh combining cord and like a bunch of stray strings underneath so uh i added um padding later uh as you can see it's uh, five times or four times speed it up and it's quite quite labor intensive but i think it's worth it uh, you could theoretically make a whole suit out of this but there is a reason i chose to use uh, chain links uh, to co combine uh, like the previous armor not just to create variety and test different styles it's uh, quite quite uh, much more labor intensive to make something like this well one it's smaller rings but it's far faster to like cut the, the chain and use those links to combine then slowly try to tear through the cloth uh, try to keep the balance between rings uh, sew it up uh, use enough cord combine the rings with each other so i hope you get the gist and i'm not going to bore you with uh, me slowly and uh, tauntingly sewing um, this armor.